My name is Cheyenne Wood. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. My grandpa, Earl Woods, got me introduced to the game. He lived in Southern California, so we'd go out on vacation and see him in the summer. I was in his garage and I picked up one of Tiger's old cut down clubs and just kind of was messing with it. And that was my very first introduction to the game. My grandfather then got me my first set of clubs at about the age of five or six. And neither of my parents played golf. And so when we would go back home to Phoenix, we would just go to the local park and we would just hit balls in the grass and see how many times it took us to get there and back. And that's how I started learning golf and getting into it. Golf was something that was so different. You know, I grew up watching my cousins play basketball and football and this and that, and nobody in my school played golf. So for me, I felt like it was something super unique and different, especially as a young girl. My environment of watching Tiger and, and knowing that success is possible, it was really inspiring for me. To see Tiger out there doing it was really what allowed me to believe that I could be out there too. Growing up on the women's side, there were no African-American women on the LPGA Tour when I was watching. I connected with Grace Park because she was from my area. And I think that goes to show representation can happen in so many different ways, not just the color of your skin, but what city you're from or what religion you are. I had a girl come up to me and say that I'm her favorite golfer because I have curly hair. And it's little things like that that you realize kids connect to the simplest things and fans connect to the simplest things. So if we have a broad range of representation, we're able to truly grow the game to everybody that's out there. My experience as a woman of color in golf has been very different than my friends. I think that I've had a very privileged experience being having the last name of Woods. A lot of doors have been opened to me, a lot of opportunities given, and the way that I'm treated is very different, which has been both positive and negative. Hearing the stories from my friends has been difficult. Um, you know, having a friend denied at the gate of a country club because they don't think that he has a tea time, or a friend of mine showing up at the course and them assuming he's a caddy versus a professional golfer. And then being a woman, you know, of constantly people assuming you're not there to play golf or you can't play the tips, you can't play the back tees. It's frustrating. And as a woman, I've always used that as fuel to just prove people wrong. I would say for any woman coming into the game of golf or girls, find a good group of friends that you can play with. You can play together, learn together, watch golf together. I think having that support system and just that camaraderie helps truly enjoy the game and coming into the game and feeling comfortable. So whether it's friends or an organization, a girls golf club, you play it once a month. I think it's just nice to have that, that friendship and that community to learn something new and just have fun with it.